Sam Trace. You brought up an, uh, another interesting point, though. You talked about the, the relevance and the level of government intervention into our monetary system. And I think your point is really, really interesting and really well taken. Can you elaborate on that a little bit for us? What functions as currency can be either money or a money substitute. Money must be a tangible asset. A money substitute can be a credit instrument. The U.S. Constitution provides that no state shall make anything but gold or silver coin a tender in payment of debts. Now, that doesn't specify what should be legal tender, just that if anything is legal tender, it must be either gold or silver. That leaves pretty much a free market that's in, in the terms. Constitution. That's in the yeah, con- U- yeah. U.S. Constitution, Article 1, Section 10, Clause 1. Now, Article 1, Section 8, Clause 5, they can coin money. Uh, the federal government can. But the big issue is that the currency market should be a free market. Instead, we have a government-imposed monopoly with the legal tender of Federal Reserve notes. That leads to governmental intervention in every single transaction in the U.S. economy because Federal Reserve notes are 50% of every transaction. So that intervention, that increased velocity that is given to those money substitutes leads to gross misallocations of capital in all ranges of our economy, whether it's the price of eggs or the price of gold, the price of silver, the price of oil. And you have to remember that money substitutes, currencies like the euro or the dollar or the Canadian dollar, they only have value for what they will buy. And so anything real, any commodity, uh, pulls back the curtain and shows what those things are really worth, which is nothing. And they only derive their power through force, government coercion, as legal tender. And that is a system designed to fail, well, unfortunately. It's a system designed to fail. I mean, history has proven time and time again that fiat currencies simply don't last. I uh, want to say one thing. These guys are pretty serious players in our industry. Uh, we provide links from this website to their websites. Take a look at what Trace Meyer has to say uh, at his website, rundagold.com. And then uh, I have spoken with Dr. Ehrenberg a couple of times. Nostradamus Funds LLC is another very, very interesting thing you should take a look at. See what you think. You guys, thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.